When the latest from Natalie Ryan, she once again proves she should probably have a PR team or at least her attorney reviewing these statements moving forward. The DGPT is removing me from the OTB Open. No matter where they go, I will fight them every step of the way. If you thought I was fighting hard before, just wait. They're going to burn with me. They're going to burn with me is how she concluded this post. Let me know down below what you think that means. Uh, so first off, it sounds like a threat to the PDGA and the DGPT, the very organizations she's in a massive lawsuit with right now, so probably not a great idea there. Uh, and then in the court of public opinion, where Natalie's case has already been dwindling, this is just yet another statement that is not going to help her to win over uh, supporters saying things like this. And another way of looking at this, they're going to burn with me at it reads like, if I can't play professional disc golf, nobody can. Once again, not going to help your case, this idea of, if you can't participate, I'm going to ruin professional disc golf for everyone. Just, once again, not, not helping anything. And then lastly, and yet another twist of irony, as we often see with Natalie Ryan's statements, is she is criticizing and wanting to burn down what she considers to be a a transphobic, a biased, an unfair, unjust organization, or I should say organizations between the two. But she continues to try to participate in their events. So she wants to burn the whole thing down, but she just played round one at OTB Open after going to court over the right to compete in that event. So how do you want to burn down something that you also want to be a part of, unless you're just going to be in the house when it burns. It just makes no sense, but oftentimes these statements don't make any sense. And that, that's why there's a video here. Uh, if these statements were rational, I probably wouldn't be making this video. Uh, the, the one, I guess, silver lining here is this, this statement is uh, very Katniss Everdeen-esque. And if we burn, you burn with us. And so now over here, just the last thing, they're going to lose this fight, and they know it. Uh, just a perfect way to, to cap this off. They're going to lose this fight, and they know it. Making that statement the day after the PDGA and the DGPT were successful in appealing her suit or her restraining order and have now blocked her from playing at the OTB Open. I mean, I was curious what was going to happen here. And they just completely removed her name. So it doesn't even look like she played yesterday. And they don't even have her as like a DNF disqualification. They just completely pulled her from the event as if her round yesterday never existed. Uh, so to say that they're going to lose this fight and they know it after they just had a victory. And are probably semi-celebrating the whole thing. I just, I don't, I don't even know. Help me understand down below what exactly all of this means. What are the next steps for Natalie Ryan? If she wasn't successful in California, does she have a chance anywhere else? It's unlikely, but you never know. We certainly know she's going to continue fighting it, and we'll get more statements like this moving forward. So thanks for watching.